everyone, Kevin Axtell here, and as a part of Club Fest 2020, I'm going to teach you the three club toss juggling trick known as wall plane flats. We'll break it down in two parts. First, we'll learn the wall plane flats cascade, and then we'll learn the down low wall plane flats, which is very similar to a half shower, uh, just on a different plane. All right, so first up, you're going to need three clubs. And with these throws, we're going to be pushing and releasing this upper half circle arc for our throws. We can practice catching those. You can throw one over, one back and forth, or you can throw two, collect. It's good practice. But the bottom line is we want to get some practice with that throw. There's no wrist flip. Whereas on lots of juggling, we're flipping our wrist. In this case, we're just pushing and releasing. Also take note that I'm holding the clubs higher up near the tape, right? It, and for a lot of tricks, you're gonna hold it in the middle of the handle or even intentionally down at the bottom. But in this case, we're gonna hold it up a little bit higher. You can do the trick holding it down at the knobs, but I'm going to suggest for learning it that you hold the handle closer up towards the tape. So we throw one. Two from the same hand and then what we're going to do is do two of the throws okay two of the throws first off we're going to try the wall plane flats cascade and the difference is in the wall plane flats cascade the throws are coming from the back forward over each other whereas on the wall plane flats which we'll get to when we turn that the right hand is always in front and the left hand throws are always behind that's why it's more like a half shower and both patterns have a lot of value they have their place uh, and it's important to understand the difference so first the wall plane flats cascade now it's called a wall plane because it takes place here as though there were a wall right in front of me versus the flats cascade which as you can see looks different it's straight out whereas the wall plane flats cascade takes place on a flat plane in front of you so now we're up to two throws, okay? First throw goes up, second throw comes from behind and it is tossed forward, like that. Comes from behind and is tossed forward. Do that a couple times. And when you're ready, we're gonna get that third throw in there. The hands are going to do this almost swimming motion, not quite like that, but almost a little bit of a rotation there as we toss them forward, catch them, bring the hand back and throw. So three throws this time, one, two, three. Again, each time the hand comes back and is throwing as a juggling exchange and catching and bringing it back down again. So, the wall plane, flats cascade. When you get three throws, one, two, three, and I do recommend, you know, building on success. Don't always go until you drop, but instead, okay, I can do three throws. All right, so now I'm gonna work on four throws. One, two, three, four. And then on and on and so on. With the wall plane flats cascade, some people will like to throw it higher as such. Some people will like to bring it down more like this. It's gonna be up to you, your choice, your style. Again, start with just a few throws. You're pushing, you're not flipping the wrist. Exchange, exchange three throws, and then on. You're gonna build that. So, as opposed to the wall plane flats cascade, now we're gonna learn the, uh, what I call wall plane flats, but is really more of a half shower. And that takes place down here. It's low and quick, and has a distinct and different look to it, as opposed to the wall plane flats cascade. So cascade, half shower. I like this half shower pattern both for glow and for torches because it's moving quickly. It's got a nice clear trajectory. And like I said, they both have their place. So for that trick, we're gonna start with two in the dominant hand. You're gonna throw it one kind of slightly out and in front, and then the other, other one behind it. So the first throw in front, the other one behind. Now the difference is, especially on this third throw, that that one comes out in front. The right hand, in my case, whatever your dominant hand is, is always throwing out and in front. Use the same concept when building the skill as the wall plane flats cascade, and that is to do a few 
throws, just do a few throws and then build on that success. So we got one, one, two, all right, one, two, three, right hand always out in front. All right, one, two, three, four. And especially with this trick, we want to hold it closer to the body of the club along the handle because it's so low, it helps with the angle so it doesn't go over. Whereas with the wall plane flats cascade, sometimes you might actually choose to catch it on the knob, often for spinning purposes. So, again, wall plane flats is down low. One hand is always throwing out and in front of the other. It's fast, it's pretty, with torches and glow, it looks good. It's got a nice, low, fast, clean look to it. The wall plane flats cascade isn't always in front from one hand. Instead, each hand is cycling, catching in the back and throwing forward. You'll notice this one is a little higher, a little floatier, but that's also a good thing because it allows for different tricks. And oftentimes when you see people doing wall planes flats tricks, they're using the wall plane flats cascade because of the way it resets the orientation every time. So wall plane flats down low, one hand always in front, wall plane flats cascade. More versatile in terms of what you can do with that other hand. And so they both have their place. One is tight and down low and crisp. The other is very versatile and flexible in terms of what you can do with it. I hope that that gave you some value. I hope that you are enjoying Club Fest 2020. And I hope you'll look up Club Motion Juggling, both on Facebook and clubmotionjuggling.com for lots more club juggling content. All my love to you on your juggling journey. May it be, may it be long and bountiful. Peace.